do I need this thing on when I'm doing the optical course? Because I don't, I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. I'm just going to check the camera in this class and pretend it's not easy there. This is Haley Tibbetoe. It's and this is Mary Tibbetoe. <laughs> and I am Jacob Tibbetoe. <laughs> I am seven years old and my name is Jacob. When I grow up, I want to be a Lego designer. Jacob was just about 18 months old and he was a big eater, happy, easiest baby kind of thing in the world, you know? And all of a sudden he started acting like he was in pain and he wasn't eating anywhere near as much as he was. Um, and it would be like he'd use up all of his energy right in that first hour of the day. And so we took him to the pediatrician and suggested maybe he was iron deficient because he'd been a little bit anemic in the past. And they told us, nope, nope, there, there's no reason for that. He just had his iron checked not long ago. It should be fine. He's probably just teething. The ambulance came and I got in it. James got in one of the cars and followed us over. And when we got to Barbara Bush, it was pretty late at night, I think. And uh, a whole, the whole entire oncology team was there waiting for us. Um, and basically it was just a swarm of, this is the oncologist on call right now. This is his team. There was a social worker there, the child life specialist, um, a nurse, everybody was there. And got Jacob blood products immediately and hydration and set it up so that first thing in the morning, they scheduled um, scans, full CAT scan, MRI, everything. Monday, about an hour, I think, before the chemo arrived, they got the diagnosis that it was stage four neuroblastoma. And at the same time, you know, you sit down with the team and the social worker and what do, we, what do you need? What do we need to do to get it so that you guys, this is what we're facing, we were told that this cancer is aggressive and it's difficult to hit and so they basically they, they th throw the kitchen sink at it is what they told us. It's pretty much going to be 18 months of chemotherapy followed by surgery followed by radiation and immunotherapy. He had um, a large tumor, it was about a watermelon size in his abdomen. That's like where it starts in the adrenal gland area. He had a bunch of them up his spine. He had one on his kind of leg thigh area and one behind his eye. So um, in that process of the two weeks of him feeling better, that black eye went away. And so it was like an immediate response to the chemo and it was really encouraging because it was like, this is, this is working, you know, this is responding to the treatment. So that was really encouraging at first and it was just go, go, go from there. <laughs> they were really very confident in the process and sure that, you know, we were gonna get through this um, and which helps ground you and, and keep you stable through it, you know? But um, it, this was just life as he knew it and he had child life there every day, giving him all of the attention and love that he needed. And I mean, he just, he, he won it, you know? And you would never know he went through what he did, just looking at him. Um, because of his age, they had told us he's not gonna remember most of this. He's not gonna remember the bad, and he doesn't. The only things he remember are the good things and all the spoiling and the fun he had when he was there. And I don't know, he's blocked out all the misery, I guess, which is awesome. From the nurses, the doctors, to the child life, like you get a nurse that's off duty or on, either switching and she comes in even before she's on the clock to see how you're doing yourself and your and your child, and it's just pretty much to everybody in there, they care. So that was a huge part for us that, you know, you felt like you're at home. It's weird to think about it, but those days going through treatment are some of the best of our lives. You know, like, we had a lot of fun, believe it or not. I mean, he really, really taught you to find out what's important and how to enjoy whatever you're going through, no matter what because he certainly did, he really did. <laughs>